teams. We're down to the last four then, Hello, the everybody. penultimate and round in this fine match. competition. The two teams ahead of us here have their eyes Against firmly Portugal. fixed on the grand prize. They both believe it is within their compass. Having come this far, they're entitled to believe that. The competition has provided us with a lot of drama up to this point, and I'm sure there is plenty more to come before it reaches its ultimate climax. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. The action has already started. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Well, it's hard not to pick out Benjamin Pavar, Peter. Um, one of his standout strengths, obviously, is his pace, which he uses extremely well in order to deal with all sorts of, of opponents, especially the speed he's able to, to press with and recover in situations, both highly impressive. Well, quite no argument for me on that one. Tries a shot! Now, who's going to be first to this? There's the shot! He's got away with one there. Well, one sloppy lapse like that can do a lot of damage, and it was triggered by the closing down. Little doubt who they'll be aiming at here. Well, he is someone you can count on to get his head to it one way or another, Peter. Tries to cut back. João Cancelo gets flagged offside. Pressure already building up here. Rafael Varane, still goalless. Pavar. Cristiano Ronaldo. Good spot, he's seen the run. Maurice will lay claim to that. It looked as though that might lead to something quite promising, but it's a big chance! Goal! Portugal! Yeah, I'd call that transition with bite. They won it back and, and bit hard. The goal score for Portugal after 23 minutes is... Number 24, João Felix. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Pogba. He's shifting through the gears here. And Kunku. And that's not going to reach. Sends it forward. It's a pretty loose pass. And the keeper's got it again. Conte. Over to the left, Mbappe, nice bit of trickery, oh, strongly challenged there. Oh, he's enjoyed that, he evidently loves the contest. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo, fiddles it through, good read, needed to be, clears it out of harm's way. Joao Felix. Great chance! It's a goal! And again, they simply do not know what has hit them. Yeah, to see it unfold as succinctly as that, it, it looks telepathic. 
the goal scorer for Portugal. After 42 minutes is number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. Portugal take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. That second goal is such a, a polarizing effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team will there will be one oh, minute out of time. Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Joe Felix is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. This possibly the last play of the half. Cristiano Ronaldo! And the semi-final reaches halfway. Any opinion you'd like to express on the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can and repeat the their first half today, success with a, another show of strength? Is now on sale in the Portugal stadium. sitting pretty here at half-time, 2-0 up. Already up and running for the second half. Ronaldo is flagged offside. Conte. And Kunku. Well, the boss won't be happy about that at all. They were pedestrian in possession and carried almost no threat at all. Conte. Pavard. That is Conte. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo shapes to shoot. It's run loose. Who's going to get there? Great. It's bounced out. Pressing is high and relentless. Now, who's going to be first to this? Hits it for the time. For this match was 72,000. Well, it was a piece of attempt to the end. France can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Ronaldo stands tall and stands... It's Cristiano Ronaldo! Digne. Mbappe. And it's Bernardo Silva. Well, that had the makings of something quite promising, but it's fizzled out into nothing. It's a good spell of possession, this. Kimpembe did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. And it's gone back to the keeper. Trout Felix. Interesting goal. Real chance! Well, we've seen the hunger to win it back and the focus to make it count. A very tasty combination. And yes, it's him again. After 74 minutes is number 24, Joe Felix. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Now it's Joao Felix. 
Oh, nicely intercepted. Oh, they've managed to get it away. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Joao Felix. Joao Felix! It's off target and by quite a way. Well, that's why we all say indecision is fatal. Pavard. For Nkunku. Ops for safety. Not too much more here than seeing our time, and time is very nearly seen out. Out to the left it goes. Two now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Has been indicated. Oh, what? And the finish! Goal! It is no contest. It is a landslide. That was easy, almost too easy. Well, the finish looked a guarantee once he was found all alone, and it's criminal defending. After 90 minutes is number 10, Bernardo Silva. It's become a case of men against boys. Poor pass that, sloppy. And time is up. Portugal are the winners in a one-sided semi-final. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Portugal really deserve a lot of credit for what I'm sure would be a real confidence-boosting win. Such a, such a huge game being played. There were so many factors that would have got the doubters going, but I guess it'll all go a little quiet now. Smoking is only allowed in areas shown on this map. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs>